women are only 20% of professors in Europe, but they are 60% of university graduates with excellent qualifications. This means that there's an issue of representation of women in research, and particularly in high positions. And this research shows us that it has structural uh, explanations and structural causes, mainly biases and stereotypes, which are embedded in society. So responsible research and innovation can improve and contribute to structural change of research organizations by raising awareness and contributing to changing and modifying these biases and these stereotypes that underlie the low representation of women in the research system. And this requires structural change, that's why we call it structural change. And raising awareness to which responsible research can contribute will substantially help uh, reducing this and improving the, the participation of women in research and innovation systems. One important aspect of gender equality in research and innovation has to do with the content of research. What do we study? What do research funding programs fund? How do we spend money in research? Are we responding equally to the needs of men and women, to gender needs, for instance, to everything that has to do with understanding what happens with all the work that women and men do for the sustain of the household and for taking care of kids and old people? Uh, Taking a gender outlook in research implies consistently uh, and equally responding to the needs of everyone, irrespective of their gender. This is a very important thing, and for this gender analysis is needed, and I will illustrate it. For instance, men and women do use transportation system in the city differently because of the daily tasks associated with care work. And if we, uh, if we consider uh, how this mobility related to care work, to everything that has to do with taking care of people and of the house, then uh, we are introducing gender into research and into policy related to transportation planning and, and spending. And this is not yet done. It's not yet sufficiently mainstreamed into research or into policy making. Uh, so we need to take into account equally what men and women's realities are and integrate these variable and these differences when there are differences. Sometimes there are no differences, but we need to see when those differences exist in realities, in perceptions, in needs, and integrate them into the research process on a normal, normal and consistent basis, just as any other uh, aspect that we integrate into our research activities.